Today we're talking about Paracleanse. Now Paracleanse is a, I guess, an anti-parasitic medication available in the United States. Now it treats a few things, external parasites, some of those, and internal parasites. Mostly what I use it for is internal parasites. It will get some of the external, but I use ICX and other things in combination and salt to really uh, flush out some of the the external parasites. And there's some that, you know, like anchor worm where you gotta use specific medication. Today we're gonna focus mostly on the internal parasite that Paracleanse treats, you know, worms, that kind of stuff. And symptoms you might be seeing in your fish are, uh, maybe they're wasting away, so they're getting skinnier over time and you're feeding them a lot. Uh, maybe you see that their feces is strange. Maybe it's got some uh, white uh, stringy poop. Maybe there's some nodules in there. Those are all signs that there could be internal tapeworms. We believe that all fish that come through a store and a wholesaler, we own a store, are quote unquote dirty. Basically they pick up internal parasites from the wholesaler and then they go to the stores. And if they're not fully eradicated at the store, then they'll go to your your home aquarium. It takes a bit to actually get rid of internal tapeworms and so most stores won't be able to do it. Not that no one does, but even us, we can only do the first step. And I'm gonna explain how you actually do this. So first, always follow the directions on there and uh, you know, know that whenever you're treating fish, you could kill them, right? Just like anything else, when you, whenever you're introducing meds to a human, dogs, cats, all of that, there could be adverse reactions. So, but on the most part, fish are going to respond positively to this if we're getting rid of something they actually had. All right, so you've noticed that they've got some stringy poop or something like that, or maybe they're just new to you and you're in quarantine. The first thing you wanna do is dose paracleanse. Now you're gonna follow the directions when it says to change water and dose again, go ahead and do that. And so what's happening with that treatment? That's what I wanna explain, kind of each treatment here. So during that treatment, any of the tapeworms that are kind of latched onto the stomach lining and inside the fish are going to die and they're gonna slough off and come out in their feces. So you might notice um, maybe it was going to the bathroom normally and now that you've treated it, now it's got the white uh, stringy feces and that's pa passing those, those worms. So you're gonna do that for one week. Then I recommend resting two weeks. What does that mean? That means you kind of do your normal water change, you just feed the fish normally and they're just doing their thing. And this would mean that there's not other medications going on, like so there's not other illness you're treating, like they're actually resting up, recuperating, getting more robust again, right? So they're bringing all that nutrition back in because they were probably suffering before if they had worms, they weren't getting as much nutrition as they want. So it's important to build that back on. So then after about two weeks, we're going to treat again. And the reason why we treat again is because the uh, eggs that were inside the fish, so tapeworms lay eggs, and those eggs that were in there, they're not hatched out yet. And so when they're not hatched out, usually medicines can't actually harm them or at least kill them. So now you've got these ones that hatched out, they're attached to the inside of your fish again, and if we don't do anything, they're just gonna grow and the, and the problem keeps going. That's one of the reasons why they're still around is they're kind of hard to eradicate. Now you follow up with another week's worth of treatment and same thing, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna you know, slough out some probably, maybe not as many this time, maybe you don't notice it. Uh, the fish might look a little under the weather. You keep feeding them small amounts. Don't overfeed them. If you, if they have big tapeworms they're passing, then um, sometimes they can get a little blocked up. So just, you know, easy things like uh, brine shrimp, spirulina brine shrimp, um, maybe something like an algae wafer, some with a lot of roughage in it help kind of keep it moving through. It depends on the type of fish, obviously. So now you've completed, you know, the second round. And for the most part, usually that will get 98%. Now I like to be sure. So typically two weeks later, I will follow up with a third treatment just to really make sure. And you follow the same procedures again, and that will get any of the ones that you might have timed incorrectly or, or any reinfection that went on, anything that kind of could have happened there. Usually three will get it. Paracleanse itself won't get every single uh, internal tapeworm there. It'll just get a, a wide spectrum of them. So basically what it's made up of, it's made up of prosequentinol and metronidazole. Both are anti-deworming agents. The blend that it's in works really nicely, not very harsh. You could use other things like levamisol. You could use fenbendazole. You can use other dewormers out there. But in general, I find that this is enough for most of your aquarium fish. Now, with puffers and stuff, I do follow up with levamisole and some other things because they're really, wild-caught fish in general usually have a, a bigger 
swath of internal tapeworms. So I'll do that. The next question usually comes up is, well, why wouldn't you just treat the food and have them eat? Sometimes fish with tapeworms won't eat or they can't eat enough. And then also I find it be, to be very difficult to actually monitor how much medication is going into each fish. You might have one fish that's gobbling up a ton. The next one's barely eating at all. And so, yeah, this one might actually get sick and die from having too much medication. This one didn't get enough, so it didn't actually kill the, the parasites. And then you just kind of reinfect. I like to treat the whole water column, let that soak, follow the water or the directions there, follow up with the water changes. And I find that to be very um, effective for us. Now, in a retail store, in the quarantine room, we'll start the first week of treatment of the anti-internal tapeworm. Then they usually go out on the show floor and most times they'll sell in that week to two weeks and so we don't get a chance to retreat them again. So if you're buying from our retail store, you really only need to follow up with treatment two and three. Um, if you're buying from an unknown source, I would do the whole full treatment. And I realize this can be expensive and so it's best to have a quarantine tank and then a smaller one at that. So maybe your quarantine tank is 20 gallons, only uses two packets each time. That's, you know, one box will get you through that. But if you've got a giant aquarium, you're going to have to buy a lot of it. And that does get costly, but you're probably buying large fish and you've got a big investment there. And even more so, you want to make sure that you get your fish cleaned out. So when you're feeding them all those healthy foods, they're actually putting on that color, putting on the, the growth you want and living a happy life. And I always tell people, I'd much rather deworm them in the beginning. And if something goes wrong, I'm not as attached as opposed to a year in where it's now your baby and you're trying to deworm it. It's, it's, a, it's a worse time there. So Paracleanse is my favorite. Uh, it used to be General Cure. Paracleanse is just a cheaper version. It's the same active ingredients and it works the same in our experience. And so that's why we recommend and use it. Good luck. It's not, it's not a sure, sure uh, thing here, but we do it on every fish that ever comes through. And I, I guess I should mention that. We only ever dose at full strength. We don't do half strength or anything like that. Any of the scaleless fish, puffers, loaches, all that kind of stuff, always a full dose. If it worked with less of a dose, uh, then we would do that, but it, it doesn't. It, it needs that full dose. And so don't trick yourself and be like, well, I've only got enough to do like half a dose, so I'll do that. You're better off holding off, buying more, and doing that whole dose and getting the full effect uh, and actually getting rid of those internal tapeworms. So good luck out there and uh, hopefully happier fish.